So friends, at long last, here it is all the way from Weifang, China. Came in a box like this. The lark is in there. It's a black one with a rusted neck. And let's take a peep. Of course, we saw some uh, pictures from Tom that showed that he packs this in this really nice foam. So maybe I've got it upside down. Maybe I should turn it the other way. It feels like that. So I don't know if that's a top or that's the bottom. Maybe it's up. Maybe I've got it turned upside down. Of course, silly me, I should have known better. I probably should have opened the side that had the uh, Latitude logo on it. So there we go. Shandong Tuneful Sound Musical Instrument Company Limited. Hendrix, what do you think? It's cool, isn't it? I think so. Okay, so now we're cooking. And, ooh. My, my, look at that. Look at the way he packed that. Ooh. So I couldn't tell from the pictures. It's actually got a really nice matte finish. So it's, it's uh, that's cool. I like that a lot. Check out the saddles. Looks pretty nice. Real smooth turning the knobs. Real smooth feeling the select switch. Pickups look great. Neck looks great. Look at that. And that Latitude logo right. Look at those stainless steel frets, people. Let's just pan across that and enjoy the beauty of that for a moment. Got your truss rod adjustment right back here, which is a handy dandy way to be doing that. All in all, there you go. Straight down. All right, let's get it out and see how it feels. Friends, Tom asked me not to do a real review yet. He wants to wait till he gets it on Amazon, but I thought I would at least show you how it sounds. Going into a GTX 100, just a Fender Twin. <laughs>
Kind of held off on doing a review immediately because um, the guy that's kind of the big promoter of, of the uh, Latitude guitars asked me not to put something out until <laughs> he had a chance to put it on uh, on Amazon. <laughs> then he told me it would be okay. <laughs> so, so this is it, Latitude Lark. Beautiful matte finish. Let me tell you what I like about it. I've been playing it for a while here. It is a classic Tele design. No frills. It's just like everything you want and like about a Telecaster just done really well. The neck is just killer. It is just a very nice neck. Neck pickup I like a lot. I really like all of them. That's the bridge. I'm not to the loud tunes doing a whole bunch of bends and stuff. 
bit. to overplay tonight. Uh, just wanted you to hear a little bit about what it sounds like. That's that's in the in-between position here, by the way. Here is the neck again. It just sings. This, the uh, vintage tuners are are nice. I mean, that's that's uh, that's really nice. It's just like any kind of vintage tuners you'd have on a, a real legit old time telly. Uh, no belly cut on it, which I kind of appreciate in a way. I know the belly cuts are very popular with people, but by golly, get off your lazy butt and lose a few pounds. You don't have to have a belly cut. <laughs> I have to say, uh, a lot of the modern ones I've got have that, and I just like the way the way a telly hangs without the belly cut. I like for it to stick out just a little bit, so that's fine with me. Nothing, nothing weird on the heel or anything. It's it's just very much like an old throwback to a Telecaster. What it is is a fantastic neck, though. My friends, that is a fine neck. It's roasted maple with an ebony fretboard. And it's a beautiful, you want to talk about nice stainless steel frets, absolutely no edges. The neck just feels fantastic. Got your truss rod, baby, right here where you go to, to fix that. Uh, one thing I will say, I've, I've, not, I've not pulled the plastic off the pit guard yet, so there, you might still be seeing this. So I'm not, you're not seeing the full beauty of it. I have pulled the plastic off these other parts. It seems to be... A little heavy on the base side as far as the pickups go. And, and I, I did go ahead and, and adjust the, uh, the uh, height of the pickup here, but it, I mean, it, it, it's boomy. But I like that. I mean, I've got no other Telecaster that's got that much throat in the bottom end, man. I mean, you can see. If you... It's thunderous. I mean, I can't know if you can tell from. I'm just using the microphones on a GoPro Hero 11 right now. Plenty of mids. Again, I'm on the neck pickup right now. Uh, back to the uh, bridge. I mean, it, it's it's pretty thunderous in the in the bottom end. Which you could EQ that out if you like. If you don't like it, I kind of do. So, like I said, I've got no other. That would almost almost carry the bottom end uh, without a bass player if you if you had to do it. I mean, I, I started to do a loop here. I'm using right now. I'm using a Princeton sound with a Klon engaged on my GTX 100. So here's my deluxe sound. Princeton again. It's just splendid. I'm just running through some different tones I have here. back in the bridge again. You might even decide you want to roll some roll some highs off of that. Or bring them back in. The 
this is nice. Um, again, quick run over, and this is first impressions. There's, surely there's more to come of, the, of things I want to say about it. Let me turn off the amp for a minute. Beautiful, beautiful finish. I just like the look of that a lot. Uh, the pickups seem to be very nice. Like I say, thick, thick sounding pickups. Tone knobs and volume knob, very responsive. Nothing seems real chancy about it. I've not cracked it open to see what's in there. But I'd say it's pretty good stuff. It's heavy. Uh, Tom, the guy that we go through, those of us who know about Latitude guitars, we know about Latitude Tom. He said this is Swamp Ash, and this first run is very heavy, so he's probably going to go to Alder in the future. And it does. it. It's the same sort of weight as a Les Paul. I'm just here to tell you. It, it's it's a it's a hefty guitar. I, I weighed it. Mine is 10.2 pounds. Now, my American Telecaster is 8 pounds even. So, Telecaster is typically a light guitar, but this is very substantial. It's, it's absolutely rock solid it is killer got your string through seem they seem to have put some pretty nice strings on it uh i don't know if tom just knew that i like nines it seems like it's nines it, that, i know they put a lot of tens on guitars but this seems like a nine to 42. it uh the neck just feels fantastic it's a it's a satin satin type of finish um again Nice frets, pearly looking. I guess they're they might actually be pearl. I don't know. This is a two hundred ninety nine dollar guitar, by the way, on their website. So, uh, what I would say, sort of, in, as a first impressions uh, thing, I would say is okay. So I have a classic vibe fifties Telecaster. Go to Sweetwater, read about them. People almost give them five stars, and I like it a lot. I like my classic vibe fifties Tele. I like this better. And the, the classic Vibe 50s, what are they going? $449 now. This one's going for $299. This one, I love being able to adjust my truss rod here. This one has a better neck, better frets. Pickups are at least comparable. Uh, same, same similar type of electronics, uh, vintage tuners. I, just, I, I see this as a no-brainer, uh, a really nice win for Latitude. So Latitude is an interesting company. I wish I knew even more about them. I wish I could talk with Tom more. It is my understanding that you guys know about the ERT, 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 how do you say it, E-A-R-T guitars. It's my understanding that some of the folks from ERT, ERT left and formed Latitude. And so they're trying to actually beat the quality of the, the ear ERT guitars. And although I don't own one of those, this is the second Latitude that I've bought. I have the Cardinal, which is my favorite headless guitar right now. And uh, I play it all the time and it sounds just great. Love the humbucker pickups and love the neck on it. Like the, what I like about the Latitudes so far is they're no nonsense, but they're well appointed. They've got the stuff you want on a guitar. This just feels it's, it, it, I feel at home with this already. I mean, you know, my number one guitar is my American Telecaster. And uh, and then I have a whole bunch of other ones that are close seconds and or, or thirds, but still they're, they're definitely keeper guitars. This is a keeper guitar. This one will give my American one a run for the money. I think I do like maybe the pickups better in it is an American guitar. I like the neck better on this. I really do. And I love these frets. It, it, it's a fast play. If I were a fast player, yeah, I'm not. But I, I can play certain licks. And all, all I know is it's very smooth to play it. The scales and stuff I was playing earlier, I'm going to cut a lot of it out because I'm screwing around messing up pretty bad. But but it's 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 a, a Telecaster that plays really well. I haven't even looked down the side of the neck. But boy, I'm here to tell you, it is straight as an arrow. It doesn't look like you see, can't see a high fret on it. I've played all over it. No buzzing. Uh, it's set up well. Uh, I checked the intonation. The intonation is slightly off when you fret on a few, in a few places. If you do just the harmonic on the 12th fret, it's spot on. 
So whoever set the uh, intonation did it probably with with uh, with uh, harmonics, and uh, you know, plain old simple bridge. I do like a string through. You, 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 you like that for this price? Like I say, it feels it feels like you could whoop somebody with it. <laughs> Ten point two pounds. But it's not bothering me at all. And I, I stood up and played it a while ago. I mean, I, I've played Les Pauls over the years that were heavier than that. And so this kind of gives me that sort of feeling. It's never bothered me to have a heavier guitar. I'm a big guy anyway. I, I'm fairly stout. So, uh, yeah. That is sweet, my friends. It's a sweet guitar. I'm not going to overstate it. I, uh, you know, I don't, I don't want to blow you out you know, blow your mind by heaping too much praise on it i'm just saying for 299 i can't find a thing wrong with it unless the fact that you think it's it, it, it's it's heavy in the bass on the pickups and and there's certain eq things you could do for that for me it's it's a win-win i like that i like to know that that i've got some chunk when i go down to the lower strings and this one delivers that it, it has got the most bottom end of any Telecaster that I have. And in that, and I've got like six. So yeah, great job, you folks at Latitude. I can't find one imperfection on it. Everything just looks beautiful. Thanks to Tom and the team that built it. And it took, it took a long time for it to get here. Uh, they went through some problems there in Weifang or wherever it is, uh, uh, some, some problems with the COVID that, that caused some delays. And then when this thing got to uh, Anchorage, Alaska, I think it shipped from China to Japan to Anchorage, and it, it was uh, held up for like five days. I don't know if it was a customs thing or what, but once they released it from, uh, once they released it from Anchorage, it got down to Charlotte really quick. And so uh, within 24 hours, I had the guitar came in today. That is my first impression. I will probably do a follow-up. I'll generally do in about three or four weeks. I'll try to tell you if there's anything that I found and I try to do an official review later. This one will probably be pretty close though. I, 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 just, I just generally don't find anything wrong with the Latitude guitars that I've gotten. I've only got one other, but this one seems to be of the very same quality and build. I just, there's nothing, nothing bad about it, my friends. Peace to all who watch. Subscribe to the channel if you like.